Hello everyone, another beautiful blessed day today, just to always be in the presence of the Lord. Another day just to give Him the thanks right now. Another day just to give Him the praise right now. Another day just to give Him the glory right now. I magnify and shout out His holy name right now for everything He's done, for everything that He's doing right now. I give you all the glory right now, Heavenly Father God. Oh, Heavenly Father God, I'll always put my faith, my trust, and my hope in you right now today, Father God. I want to let you know that you my everything. I want to let you know how thankful I am, how grateful I am, how honored I am, how blessed I am just to be in your presence again. So him and Father God, just to do it over again, Father God, for me to continue to walk in your righteous ways, Father God. Father God, I ask you right now today for you to continue to guide and direct us right now, Father God, to touch us and heal us, to anoint us, oh Father God. Father God, I ask you right now today for you to continue to speak to us, Father God, in a mighty, mighty way that we know that it's coming from you. Father God, we ask you right now today to give us a sign of what it, whatever it is that you expect out of us and what you want us to do right now, Heavenly Father God. I ask, if, I ask of you right now today, Father God, for you to do what you want to do for us, Father God. Not our way, but your way, Father God. Not our will, but your will, Father God. And we are willing to do it. Oh, Heavenly Father God, today is the day that the Lord has made. And I am so glad, and I am so glad to be a part of it and rejoice in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. My brothers, my sisters, I don't know about you. The only thing that I love to do is praise Him. The only thing I love to do is worship His holy name. The only thing I love to do is seek Him and is praise Him and put my faith and my trust in Him no matter what I'm going through right now, no matter what my situation look like, no matter what my circumstances look like. I'm going to give Jesus the thanks. I'm going to give him the praise. I'm going to give him the glory for everything he has done and everything he's doing. Right now, my brothers, my sisters, if you believe that Jesus has already worked it out, if you know he's already he's already got you in the palm of your hand, if you know he's going to turn your situation around right now today, if you know that Jesus is doing something new and he's doing something now in your life, I want you to give him 30 seconds of praise right now in the house of the Lord. Amen. Amen. My point I'm making right now, praise is an everyday thing. It's not an on and off switch thing, and it's not a seasonal thing. Praise is an everyday thing. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And he is so worthy to be praised. Hallelujah. Glory, hallelujah. I say glory, hallelujah. Glory, hallelujah. Glory, hallelujah. Glory, hallelujah. Amen and amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you, Holy Spirit. We need you right now. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you in a mighty, mighty, amazing way right now. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. Amen. Thank you. I just want to say thank you to all my sisters and my brothers, every boy and girl around the world today. Thank y'all guys so much for taking y'all time out out of y'all busy schedule right now today. Just to be in the presence of the Lord. Just to be part of his ministry right now. Thank y'all for choosing his YouTube channel right now. Y'all could have been doing anything else right now. You could have been anywhere right now. But you chose to participate in his ministry right now. You chose to participate and listen to another word and another message that's coming from a heavenly father God. Words can't even explain how thankful I am, how grateful I am, how honored I am, how blessed I am. Thank y'all guys so much from the bottom of my heart. I am so thankful and grateful and honored and blessed for every last one of y'all. Words cannot explain how happy I am right now today. Thank y'all for being part of my life and path. Thank y'all so much. It's because of you guys why this ministry is still on air. That's why it's still going strong the way that it's going strong right now today. Thank y'all from the bottom of my heart. Amen? Amen. So if I'm thankful and I'm grateful and I'm honored and blessed, how much more do you think I have the Father God is? Right now, he is so thankful right now that he is doing something new in your life right now today. How do I know he is doing something new? <clears throat> well, if we turn your Bible to Isaiah chapter 43, verses 18 through 20, Jesus exact words said that he is doing something new. In Ecclesiastes 3, verse 1 said, there's a time and the season for everything under heaven. And Jesus said, it's your time now so he can do something new in your life. 
in your marriage, in your finances, in your health, and the reason why he's doing something new, and, and the reason why he is doing something new right now is because you are faithful and that you are obedient towards his ministry and himself. So when Jesus noticed that, he took, and he said, I got an eye on my son right now. I got an eye on my daughter right now. He said, I got to do something new for them. And he said, I got to do it right now. I can't do it later. I can't think about it. I can't say I'm going to do it. He said, I got to do it now because you are faithful and that you are beating for the small things and that you are faithful and that you are beating that you always seeking him that you always putting him first place so Jesus I got to do something now but I got to do a new thing into them right now and I can't do it later I have to do it now so my brothers my sisters get ready because Jesus is doing something new and he's doing it right now and get ready my brothers and my sisters to receive it because it's happening and it's going down right now this year this season in 2019 Get ready to see the works of God. He's doing it right now. Get ready to see your miracle right now. Get ready to see your blessing right now. Get ready to receive your breakthrough right now. Because right here is doing a new thing to you and for you right now. If you believe like I believe and I receive like I receive and I claim and I stand my name on it right now. So I want you to give Jesus some praise right now. Say it's going down right now. And we ain't taking no for an answer. You have to be bold with it to let Jesus know that you are very very, very adamant about your blessing, about your miracle, about your breakthrough, because he is doing a new thing to you, but he is doing it what, my brothers, my sisters? He is doing it right now. Get ready to, get ready to receive it in Jesus' name. Amen? Amen. It's going down right now because he is doing something new right now. Glory, hallelujah. And we ain't taking no for an answer, Jesus, because we know that you're doing something new and you're doing it right now. Amen? Amen. Glory to God. Amen and amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah. It's going down right now. Not later, but right now. He's doing something new right now. He's working on your behalf right now. He's working on your marriage right now. Your finances right now. Your dreams right now. Your help right now. He's working on your situation right now. And he is doing it right now because everything he is doing, he is doing new right now. In the mighty, mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus, for doing it right now. Thank you, Jesus, for doing it right now. I say thank you, Jesus, for doing it right now. I say thank you, Jesus, for doing it right now. In Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Thank you for doing it right now. Glory. Hallelujah. Amen and amen. Is there anyone, I mean, is there anyone right now, around the world right now, and if you're ready to give your life to Christ right now, I boldly encourage you right now today to please step out on faith and please head to the altar right now. Is there anyone right now today that want to be used by God right now, and you read the contract and you understand exactly what you're up against, what you're about to go through, and if you're ready and you got the boldness right now, I boldly encourage you right now today to please step out of faith and please head to that altar right now today. Is there anyone out there in the world today that's been going through some things lately? You've been feeling pain lately, suffering lately, anxiety lately, depressed lately. You've been all upset lately. You've been in an emotional wreck lately. And, you, and you're thinking that you're in this situation all along. You feel like there's no way around you. You feel like there's no hope. You feel like there's no help. You feel like there's no answer. You feel like there's no light. My brother, my sister, you're wrong. There is somebody right now today that want to help you more than anything. There is somebody right now today that loves you more than anything. And his name is Jesus. How do I know that? Well, if you open up your Bibles and turn to the reading of 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 7. His words say, cast everything to him because why? He cares for you. The guy say the word cares. It means plural. He say put everything to him because 
He cares for you. That means he cares for every last one of his children. That means he want to help every last one of his children. There's nothing he won't do for any last one of his children. But you got to do your part by stepping out on faith and head to the altar. And you need to cast everything to Jesus. Not some of it. Not a little bit of it. But you need to cast the whole entire thing. And once you cast it to him, you need to do your part and leave it right there. And let Jesus work it out. Let him do what he do best. But some of you. Because we all have been there before. Now I need you to be real with yourself. I need you to get right with yourself. Even myself at one point in time. I have been there before. We'll cast something to Jesus. And as soon as we don't see things happening our way. The first thing we do is go right back to that altar. And pick it back up. And be in the same situation back over again. But sometimes even worse. Because we didn't let Jesus do what he needed to do. Let Jesus do his job. Let Jesus work it out. Because when you cast it to him, you'll let him know that you got enough faith and trust and hope in him that he's going to turn around and he's going to do that. That's why he said, cast it to him. He said, bring it to me. I'm going to take care of it. He giving his word. He giving you a promise. He said, cast it to me. I'm going to work it out for you. I'm going to make sure that you're going to shine again. I'm going to make sure that smile is going to be in your face again. I'm going to make sure that you're going to walk around with your head up high again. But you got to do your part and leave it right there. You know who you are. Step out on faith and leave right now. Amen? Amen. Is there anyone out there in the world today that's been looking for a church home? And you've been looking, you've been looking. And you've been searching and you've been searching. But yet, you haven't found anything yet. But there's something that's telling you right now about Jesus' ministry. It's something telling you that you belong right here. And if you belong right here... All you have to do is hit Jesus with a red subscribe button right now today. It's not my button, my brothers, my sisters. It's this button. It's not my ministry. It's this ministry. It's not my platform. It's his platform. But I promise you one thing that Jesus will make you feel right at home. I promise you that he will have a word. He also will have a message for you. You might come in one way, but you're going to come out feeling a hundred times better another way. And I promise you, my brothers and my sisters, that we're going to pray together. We're going to worship together. We're going to fellowship together. We're going to get right with each other because we are brothers and sisters. That's what we are here for, to help each other, to lift each other up in times of need because every last one of us need help in some kind of way. Every last one of us need prayer in some kind of way. And I want all my brothers and sisters, it don't matter what race you are, what color you are, what country you're from, what planet you're from, we are brothers and sisters in Christ. We're going to help each other. We're going to lift each other up and we're going to pray for one another. That was Jesus. I expect that in every last one of us. Amen? Amen. And I speak on this because every day a lot of God cares but still procrastinate. You're still playing games. you still haven't got right yet. You're still thinking that you're going to be on this planet called Earth for the rest of your life. You're still worried about what people might think or say about you. You're still worried about the haters. You're still worried about the naysayers. You need to get that out of your mind. You know exactly what you need to do. He's giving you the chance right now. He's giving you the opportunity right now. And some of you right now today, you don't know all the signs that Jesus is giving you right now today. And you know exactly who you are. The word of God tells us that nobody knows the time, the day, or the hour when something's going to happen. And right now something's happening. There's a lot of people right now today that's fighting for their life in the hospital. That's barely hanging on because they waited too long. They waited too late. But right now, they still got a chance right now. They still have hope right now. But we are praying for them right now today for a speedy recovery so they can get out of that situation. And I promise you one thing. Once they get out of their hospital, the first thing they're going to do is quit playing. The first thing they're going to do is get right. The first thing they're going to do is do exactly what Jesus has asked them to do and told them to do. That's why Jesus gave every last one of us a chance and an opportunity. When Jesus breathed life in you, he gave you a chance and an opportunity. He's telling you about to grab it by the bull horns and by the bull horns and you need to do something with it. And you know exactly who you are. There's a lot of people right now who don't have that chance, who don't have that opportunity anymore because they're dead and gone, my brothers, my sisters. Once it's over, it's over with. The Word of God also tells us that tomorrow's not promised to neither one of us. Not next week, not next month, not even next year. And if you have not asked Jesus to come into your life, to be your Lord and Savior Christ, today is the day that you need to open up your mouth. Today is the day that you need to boldly confess. Today is the day that you need to get right. And all you have to say is, Lord Jesus, today is the day that I boldly ask of you to come into my life, to be my Lord and Savior Christ. And once you boldly confess that, right then and there, 
you're saved, you're born again, you have just accepted and received the Holy Spirit. I want to say congratulations to my sister, my brother, every boy and girl around the world right now today. The angels are in heaven and are rejoicing right now today. And I want to say thank y'all. Thank y'all so much for making that confession. He's giving me the chance right now. He's giving me the opportunity right now. Don't wait till the last day. Because there's a lot of people that stay in that cemetery wish they can come back and do it back over again. You have a chance right now. You have an opportunity right now. Make the best of it. Because it's too late, there's nothing you can do about it. Get right with Jesus. Make that confession right now. Amen? Amen. It'd be the best thing that you ever do and did in your life. Amen? Amen. Are y'all ready for God's words today? Are y'all ready to receive his message today? Because someone need to hear this right now because someone's been talking way too much. You've been telling all your business. And as soon as you've been talking too much, you've been spreading your business. Now the enemy has been plotting against you. And right now you wonder why people have been turning their back against you. You wonder why things have been going, going so wrong in your life. Because you've been talking too much. You can't fault the enemy for plotting against you when you was the one who ran in your mouth. Jesus is telling somebody today, you need to keep quiet. You need to keep this zip. You need to keep it locked. You need to keep your circle small because the sooner that you start opening up your mouth, you start talking too much, start telling all your business, right then and there, the plot is against you right then and there. I don't know who Jesus is about to talk to right now today, but he's telling somebody today, you're talking too much. You need to keep quiet. You need to move in silence. Amen? Amen. And before I get started, I always like to take the time out to give our Heavenly Father God all the thanks, all the praise, and all the glory. Oh, Heavenly Father God, this came. Thank you enough for an awesome and beautiful, blessed day today. I can't thank enough for this word today. I can't thank enough for this message today. I just can't thank you for your grace and your mercy right now today. I just can't thank you for everything that you've done and everything that you're doing right now today. I just can't thank you for our health and our strength today. I can't thank you for the food that you have blessed and prepared our table with today. The clothes and shoes that you put on our back. I just can't thank you for everything that you're about to bring to us today. I just can't thank you for the opportunity right now today. I can't thank you for the second chance right now today. I just can't thank you how you providing right now today. I just can't thank you how you moving mountains on our behalf right now today. I just can't thank them for your, your love. I just can't thank them for your faithfulness. I just can't thank how you're making a way out of nowhere for us right now today. I can't thank them for our blessing right now, our breakthrough right now, our healing right now, our guidance right now, our direction right now, our help right now. I just can't thank how you're watching over us right now today, how you're protecting us right now today, how you covering us with the blood of the Lamb right now today, oh Heavenly Father God. I just can't thank them for for all the open doors right now, the door that you have closed right now. I just can't think of our miracle right now. I just can't think of the amazing double portion that we better receive right now. I just can't think I just I just can't thank you enough because you're doing something new right now and our time is now right now. I just can't thank you enough for the more than the help right now. I just can't thank you enough, Jesus. 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 I just can't thank you enough Jesus I just can't thank you enough Jesus I just can't thank you enough Jesus I just can't thank you enough that's why I praise you the way I do because I can't thank you enough that's why I glorify you the way I do because I can't thank you enough that's why I put my faith my trust and my hope in you every day Jesus because I can't thank you enough that's why I shout out your holy name the way I do because I can't thank you enough I just 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 can't thank you enough in Jesus holy mighty name. I just can't thank you enough. Glory, hallelujah. I just can't thank you enough. You're talking too much, my brothers. You're talking too much, my sisters. You got to learn how to keep quiet. You got to learn how to keep your mouth closed. You got to learn how to zip it up. But some of you, you don't know no better. And you wonder why the enemy and your so-called friends or so-called family members has been plotting against you. You wonder why how they turn their back against you. You wonder why my brothers, the friend that you thought was your friend, betrayed you. How you start sneaking behind your back, telling your girlfriend, your wife, your fiance, everything that you've done. You wonder why how that so-called friend started making hits and started making passes at your wife and your girlfriend. It's because you ran your mouth too much. That means you were spilling the beans, my brothers, my sisters. You have no right to sit there and tell him 
how good your wife do you in the bedroom or what she how good she cook in the kitchen. As soon as you start running your mouth and start as soon as you start telling what she do, how she do it, automatic automatically the pot was against you. Automatically they was gonna move. The snake started coming out the grass right then and there. And you can't blame him. It's your fault because you've been running your trap too much. You know the enemy's gonna pot against you. You know that's gonna set you up. And a lot of people's going through that and you wonder why you get mad at the guy. You can't get mad at the guy. You gotta get mad at yourself because it was you who told everything. It was you who gave out free information. And once you give out free information to the to the plotter, the plotter's gonna plot right then and now. Automatic his mind starting to spin. Because you have told him, you give him an invitation how he's supposed to move in on your territory. Right then and there. You invite them in into your territory. That's why some of y'all house get broken into because you bring the wrong people into your house. They automatically start plotting. Once they start seeing what you got in your house, they start seeing how you living. And you start telling them you got this. You tell them how you got that. You want that. You tell them how you got it. Automatically they start plotting against you because what you have in your house, they want a part of it. And as soon as you take your family out to the dinner or out to the movies or out to the park or you want a vacation, the same people that you brought into your house were the same people who broke into your house because why you run your mouth too much same thing go for you my sisters you can't get mad at your friend you can't get mad at your co-worker for hitting on your husband or for hitting on your wife i mean hitting on for um hitting on him you can't get mad at her it's your fault for running your mouth as soon as you told your friend, your co what your husband do, how he take care, take care of you, how he do this, and they ain't got no man, they wish they had a man like you, once you start running your mouth, automatically the plot was against you. You can't get mad at them. You gave them free information. You told them everything what your man do, and they've been looking for that. They've been playing with boys and talking to us for the, all their life. They've been looking for a man, and they know that you got a real man. They know that you got a soldier, and once you start open up your gums and you start running your traps and you start telling all the goodies automatically the plot and the hit was on you from that point on then you get mad when your husband say or your boyfriend say or your fiance say they don't want to be with you no more or you find out the whole time they were sleeping with your friend or they were sleeping with your neighbor it's because you were running your mouth too much you gave them too much publicity you gave them too much information you fed them too much of what's going on in your territory. And that's all what the enemy want to see, what's in your territory. They want part of your territory. And once you lead them to your territory and you open up your mouth, automatically they hit is against you. Some of y'all been talking way too much to the wrong people. Some of y'all been spilling the beans way too much. You talk too much. Point blank, period. I'm keeping that. I'm keeping it all the way red with you. I ain't sugarcoating it. I'm telling you for a fact exactly what you've been doing. That's why the plot has been against you the whole time. You've been keeping it. You've been running your mouth too much. Learn how to zip it up. Learn how to put some duct tape across it. Learn how to be quiet. Quit telling people all your business. What's going on? The enemy. Will, the enemy will not have a plot against you if you don't run your mouth. Why you think your family members know everything about you and your in your in your marriage right now? Because your husband or your wife been going back home repeating and telling all the good news and everything what the husband been doing and everything the wife been doing. And as soon as you get mad, what the family do? They throw it back in your face because you've been running your mouth too much. What goes in your house, it stays in your house. Anything person that belongs to you and your husband or your wife and your kids, it should not be spoken outside of your house. Anything that's going on in your house should stay and remain in your house at all given times. Quit reporting back to your family what's going on. Because they ain't going to report to you and tell you what's going on in that household. So why do you have the audacity to go and report to them and tell them, man, you know, my husband, he ain't doing this. He ain't doing this right. I wish I had this other guy, but you ain't with that other guy. Man, my wife ain't doing this. She complaining too much. Okay, why are you telling them what your wife ain't doing? You talking too much. You giving too much information. And once you start doing that, they're already plotting against you right then and now. How they can get how they can get you, how they can turn you over. 
And that's why the enemy gets you where they get you at because you run your mouth too much. Look at look at the in today's world right now today what's going on. Ninety percent of people that get killed is because somebody is plotted against them. It's somebody who they knew the turn them say, I need this person to meet me right here. And it's always somebody who you know is always going to turn you over. That's why a lot of killings are going on right now today. That's why a lot of people getting getting raw right now today is because you have plotted, you have told them, and right now they, the plot was against you. It's always somebody you know. It was never going to be a stranger in the first place. And that's what some of y'all get getting messed up at. It will never, ever be a stranger. It's always going to be somebody who you know. And the reason why somebody knows because you have been running your mouth, you have told them everything. And once you told them everything, automatically they plot against you. Then they turning you over to the person who's gonna do the hit on you. Am I making my if I'm making sense to somebody right now today? Because I've been there before. I brought the wrong person to my house. It happened about 12 years ago. Brought the wrong person to my house. A person I thought was cool. A person I thought I can really trust. I bumped to my house. We hung out. We watched the football game. And as soon as I started running my mouth. And I get missing one weekend. To go hang out with my niece and nephews. I come back. My whole house gone. Destroyed. Flipped upside and down. Because why? I ran my mouth. And the whole time. I'm thinking it was a stranger. And the whole time the person who did it. Was my next door neighbor, the same person who I brought into my house, the same person we watched the football game with, the same person that I thought I can, you know, what I'm saying really count on, depend on, or watch my house while I go spend time with my niece and nephews. My point I'm making today: you gotta quit running your mouth. Some of you talking way too much. Amen, amen. So returning you to the um, reading, we're gonna just talk about how how a lot of some of y'all. Uh, when your mouth too much, and um, it's Jesus got Jesus got plotted. You know they plotted on Jesus. They turned him over, and for what? It was always somebody in the circle. If you turn your Bible to Matthew twenty six, and we're gonna read verse one. That's Matthew twenty six, verse one and two. And if you have your Bibles open, let the church say Amen, Amen. When Jesus had finished saying all these things, he said to his disciples, "As you know, the Passover." Is two days away, and the Son of Man will be what handed over to be crucified. Why you think Jesus gonna be handed to be crucified? Because it was somebody in Jesus' camp that turned them over. It was somebody that was hating on Jesus. It was somebody who knew Jesus every move, every mistake he was gonna do because Jesus was saying what was gonna happen. So they plotted against him. It's always gonna be somebody you know, my brothers, my sisters. The point I'm making right now today, you gotta learn how to zip it up and be quiet. Because if you can hush this up, the end will not know your move. They will know how to get you. They will know how to work. They will know about your marriage. They will know about your husband. They will know about your wife. They will know about your finances if you don't run your mouth. But as soon as you start running them trip, them, them lips, automatically the plot is against you. Amen? Amen. And we're going to go over these four points before we close today. And the four points that I have, I have a program, I have a principle, I have a promise, and I have a point. The program of this, keep your mouth closed. Be quiet. Hush it up. Zip it up. Be quiet. You gotta learn to move in silence. Because when you move in silence, the enemy cannot figure you out. They don't know what's going on with you. They don't know what's going on with your husband. They don't know what's going on with your wife. They don't know what's going on in your household. They don't know what's going on in your finances and your health if you don't open your mouth. If you don't spill the guts, how they gonna know anything about you? They not they can't plot against something if they don't know nothing, that could they? No. So you have to do your part by keeping your mouth closed. You have to learn how to be quiet. Quit talking too much. The principle. It is you who telling your business. How they know your business if you don't tell your business. That's the whole principle of it. It's you. Learn how to keep quiet. Learn how to be quiet. Learn how to zip it up. Stop talking to them so much and quit telling everything. And you know exactly who you are. Some of y'all talk way too much. You tell too much valuable information. You cannot fault that man for sleeping, going behind your back, sleeping with your wife, your girlfriend, or fiance, if you didn't tell them what she do or how she get down. It's none of their business. That's your business what your wife, your girlfriend do to you. 
That's your blessing. That's your reward. Not theirs. Because when you're telling them automatically, they're going to move. Because they want that. They want to see, is it really true? Then if it's not true, they're going to talk bad about it. Then they're going to talk bad about you. And then if it is true, guess what they're going to do? They're going to move into your territory and take your place. And the same, and the same thing go for you too, my sisters. You can't fault that your, your, your girlfriend. It's your fault for running your mouth. They want to see for sure is your man really doing exactly what you say that he's doing. And if he is, guess what they're going to do? They're going to do something that you ain't doing to get him. Then they're going to talk about you. Then if it's not, they still going to talk about you. Quit running your mouth so much. Quit bringing people to your house and keep your family out of your business. Keep your family out of your business. Amen? Amen. The promise of it, if you keep your mouth closed, if you keep your mouth quiet, they can't plot against you. They can't turn you over. They can't put a hit on you. They can't rob you. They can't break in your house. They can't steal your husband. They can't steal your wife. They can't do nothing to you. They don't know anything about your business. That's the promise of this. Be quiet. Stop talking too much. They can't plot against something they can't. They don't know anything about. Now, could they? They can't. The point I'm making today, it's always somebody who you know. If you look at most murders today, it's always somebody who they know. You look at most rock robberies go down it's always somebody who you know when they when they plotting against your wife and your husband it's always somebody you know when your family members know everything about your business it's always somebody who you know it will never be a stranger when they handed jesus over to be crucified who did it it was judas who plotted against jesus it was judas who turned them over for, for, for a little bit of dough it was always somebody who you know it's somebody who you always close to it's someone who always know your every move who know everything about you is because you've been talking too much i mean you've been telling everything you've been giving away valuable information and once you give away valuable information like that like it's the like it's the newspaper like it's the news station they are on it and automatically the plot and the hit is against you right then and there. So my point I'm making to somebody today, learn how to keep quiet, quit talking so much, and zip it up. That's the whole point of this text right now today. That's the whole point of this message. You're talking too much. Learn how to be quiet. Learn how to move in silence. Because if you move in silence, they can't plot against something that they don't know anything about. They can't put a hit on you if they don't know anything about the hit on. Now, could it? How can they hand you over to something when they don't know anything about if you don't ring your mouth? Quit talking so much. Learn how to be quiet. I hope this word, and I hope that this messes with somebody today. I know somebody need to hear this today, but go. God is telling somebody today, you've been talking too much. You've been running your, your gums too much. It's time to be quiet now. Amen? Amen. Before I close, can you please pray with me? Lord Jesus, I ask of you, to come into our life to guide us, direct us, use us, and build our, so we can continue to build our relationship with you. And I believe right now today in the mighty name of Jesus, by us praying this simple little prayer, I believe right now today that you're working everything out in our life right now today. And if you ever want to get in contact with me, my YouTube channel is withers.lt. Always keep Jesus first place. Always seek him. Always honor him. Always continue to pray for one another and always get right with Jesus. Amen. God bless you. Stay blessed.